First pitch fastball if he gets it up in the zone. First one from Wheeler is a fastball and it's banged into left. He got a fastball up and took advantage. On his way to second to start this game with a double. Jose Altuve, a sight for sore eyes for Houston fans. In this postseason, he got a breaking ball and the Astros waste no time. Two pitches into the game, one nothing Houston. Part of yesterday taught him one thing. You can't stop scoring runs against this Philadelphia Phillies team. And they came out with a little bit of a let's get on top of the fastball quick or first pitch quick. Two pitches, one nothing. In the air the other way, Schwarber goes back onto the track. He's at the wall and it's off it. The Astros all over things right away. How about three straight doubles and a 2 nothing lead? Both left field walls, I think, are going to come in huge in, in the parks that they're going to play in. Again, the Astros can't ask for a better start. On this 3-1 pitch, in the air to center field for Matt Veerling. Two out. Valdez trying to take third. Veerling's throw gets by Baum, but Wheeler backs it up. Well, if you went to the refrigerator to get a drink, this is what you missed. <laughs> you missed action right away. Bounce to Sosa. Calmly plays it. Low throw, and Haskins can't grab it. Philly's defense costs him a run. Three to nothing, Houston. Short hops and gets the heel. And that glove ends up being too far down to be able to get that short hop. And he runs the whole time, puts his head down, never knows. Balls you're going to see. Goes two and two, comes back home and strikes him out. Back to that curveball to finish off Real Muto for his first strikeout of the game. Just one over ten and two thirds. A strikeout to open the second for Valdez. He is now two for his last 23 as he watches that curve sneak to the back door. Nobody really saw this coming. Sosa's down on strikes, one gone in the third. Valdez trying to finish him off and does for the breaking ball. Strikeout number five for Framber Valdez. And delivers. Gets him. Big breaking ball from Framber Valdez. 6K. This pitch breaks so late and it looks so good coming out of his hand that is what makes this guy so nasty and he's got one of the best curveballs in the game cool and calm Founder Valdez looking for a one two three eight against the heart of the Phillies lineup and he's got it with bookend strikeouts the one two put it play for the first time but he's got exactly what he wanted a double play. Even with a speedy veerling, they go 6-4-3. That was a rocket to short. That should have been an easier double play. And he's flying down the baseline. Handcuffs Pena. Good turn. And a good feed. That little delay right there made it as close as it could be with Veerling. Truck it on down to first. Valdez back home 3 2. Strikes out Sosa. Framber Valdez, five scoreless innings. Jeff Wheeler. Bregman. Hits one in the air to deep left center field. Back it goes. It is gone. Alex Bregman strikes again in the World Series. And the Astros again lead 5-0. Yeah, new dad this year, right? He's got that dad strength, man, ever since he had his baby. First threat for the Phillies tonight. Got him with a high fastball. Well, you got those big looping curves and then 15 miles per hour harder up there, letter high. Good luck. Bryce Harper to the plate, 0 for 2 tonight. Chops the first one to second. Now two by the second one. And the first double play. Best in the game to get the ball hit on the ground, and he induces one against Bryce Harper. Here's 1 0 pitch. Boom up the middle. There's Pena. One gone. The third goes Castellanos. From Valdez is going to get a great show of appreciation from the sellout crowd. Just a dusty order. One 
one stop. Browns one to second for Altuve. He's got it. And the Astros have a win in game two. The World Series is tied 1-1 as it heads back to Philadelphia. Framber Valdez, six and a third tonight. The longest start in a World Series.